What's up, everybody? Thanks for joining me. Darren Starr here. Today, we are going to watch the 2024 IFBB Tupelo Pro. Specifically, we are looking at figure open today. Now, there is also a master's competition. There's two master's classes. For the sake of having this video be less than an hour long, I'm going to edit those out a little bit. However, we are going to use some of the individual routines that were a part of that master's competition. I'll try to get everything labeled appropriately on screen for clarity. Check out my commentary as we go through and then stick around till the end when we'll talk about the results and break down some things. So we have seen most of these, all of these, yes. These were all in 35 plus. I'm really weirded out, weirded out by the shoulders on the far right. Like that left arm versus right arm is just so different. It's hard to really judge her physique fairly just because She's so asymmetrical with how she poses. Something's wrong with that left arm, that left shoulder. I don't know. Pretty, pretty good looking group overall. Okay, new faces here. I don't know who a lot of these people are. Um, far left is... Uh, Definitely looking strongest in this group. Like that back shot is incredible. Like really incredible with there without really looking like she belongs in physique. It's a hard thing to pull off. Yeah, and you can see how aggressively she's twisting her torso there. It's like, yeah, check out the lats on the side pose as well. Yeah. Second from the right has some crazy shape. Next to her, pretty damn diced. A little softer towards the left side of the stage. Yeah, second from the right has a really ridiculous back. Far left does as well, actually. The lower body's softer, but yeah. Second from the right, you can see like there's glute striations on the side pose. Not sure they really want that in figure. Far right has some pretty crazy density and shape too. Just lacking a little bit in some lap fullness. A lot, of, a lot of really good shapes in there. Angela Baldwin. So, a little stumble there. She had a very strange asymmetry in her front pose. Like her left shoulder was not doing what her right shoulder was doing. It was very strange. Yeah, look at that. It's weird. Conditioning is great. Not super full, not a bad look for figure. Judges typically want to see just a little bit more fullness, but you know, on the right day, this could very easily be, you know, in a larger class, of course, this could very easily be first call out material. Soft from behind, back just doesn't have a whole lot to it. I'm, I'm almost want to say there's some kind of an injury that's preventing her left and right shoulders from doing the same thing. It's hard to imagine that somebody at the IFBB Pro level is just not posing correctly because they just aren't doing it. Like there's gotta be some kind of limitation there. A lot of people will ask like, you know, if you have short hair or if you have a shaved head, does that, do the judges frown on that? To which I would say, depends on the judge. Your overall presentation absolutely impacts what the judges are going to see, whether they will acknowledge it or not, whether it's subliminal or if it's on a conscious level. I don't know. I have to think it probably does. Conditioning's good. Size is, you know, lacking a little bit. Like, really ridiculous size and shape here. Wouldn't mind seeing her legs a little sharper there. Conditioning's good. Just, you know, the, the delt lat area just looks really full and round. Really good width through the back. Good size in the glutes. The legs aren't super conditioned. Uh, I think both of the others actually had her beat there. So it might not be super clear cut, but I think she's bringing enough strength to the table that um, I don't think anybody else is overpowering her. Like her, her legs do need to be sharper here. If she's in the open category, I don't know if she is or not. She is in 45 plus. 
She is in 35 plus. She is in the open as well. In the open, that's going to hurt her. In this category, she's got it. Adrian Matthews. All right. So Adrian Matthews took first in Tampa, which would have been two weeks ago, in figure 40 plus. So good shape, good conditioning, not quite as dramatic, I don't think, as Deshane Price. Would also say, yeah, pretty sharp, pretty sharp. I think Price beats her on the back shot for sure. Even though she does have the, the hamstring adductor conditioning really showing through there. Good. Wouldn't mind seeing the waist just a little bit tighter just to make it a little bit more dramatic from the waist up to the lats and delts, but that's good. We're nitpicking at this point, but that's our job. We're here to nitpick, it's a pro show. So definitely a little soft, a little undersized. Now one thing I don't know, I, I typically try to do a little bit of research before doing these. I didn't get to research everybody. I don't know how long some of these people have been pros. So like if she has recently turned pro, um, that would kind of make sense just because I'm looking at this and saying like, I would want to grow you a little bit and work on getting a little bit more conditioning to be competitive, to be more competitive at these shows. Um, she is going to be doing 35 plus also, and then she will be doing the open as well. So, um, yeah, De definitely a little on the soft side, a little on the undersized side as well. So yeah, she was the one I felt uh, was definitely in the top four, really good size and shape for figure. In figure, what you want is V taper, so it's all about tight waist, huge delts, great lats to go with it, and then the quad sweep as well. Um, I mean, of course, that's pretty much everything, but in figure, they really want to see that dramatic shape. So not quite as sharp and developed from behind. Glutes and hams are, are there, but they're kind of hiding a little bit. Really good figure look, though. Really sharp. From the front, she's like top two or three. From the back, it's a little more questionable, which is not an uncommon story for, you know, women, for men, realistically. Like trying to get the backside to lean out is hard. Yeah, so pretty compact frame, pretty dense, a lot of muscle. I don't know how tall she is, but she looks like she's about 4'11". Cut color is maybe a little off. Abs are kind of washed out a little bit. For me, I see this and I'm like, okay, you could be just a little bit leaner. And also I'm wondering like if there was just too much weirdness done during peak week. Um, this has all the hallmark of somebody who is like one week out, like absolutely shredded, peeled to the bone, and then just got too wild and crazy with peak week and came in just a little bit softer. Definitely softer. Like the, the delts are there. Um, the legs are not. Conditioning isn't quite on par with what we've seen so far. Posing's a little weird. The movements are just a little over the top and dramatic for me. I would prefer, prefer to see just a little bit more flow, hands a little bit more relaxed. Yeah, I mean, the, the lower body, there's just no lines there at all from the back, so. Yeah, just a little too soft to be in the running for today. A little unstable, very shaky, very jittery. The judges are noticing that. I mean, of course they are, but they're, they're going to factor that into their thinking here. So she's got an imbalance here. Her left leg is, is visibly larger than her right. Yeah, definitely very, very shaky. Like everything is shaking all over. And you can tell it's impacting her performance, like very unstable looking on stage. I don't know if that's nerves, if that's low blood sugar or anything like that. Um, she's faking it well, but you can tell, you can see it. So definitely softer. Um, one of the smaller competitors, which it's not a terrible thing. I think, you know, a lot of, you know, we'll, we'll find out soon here. Um, I think figure is kind of getting carried away a little bit with judging in some ways, um, where you're starting to look a little bit more like physique than you probably should. And I think the judges would do well to create some definitive lines between those categories. And, and here is the one. So this is the, the mass monster of the division <laughs> of this class here. So pretty huge, really thick, really full, really dense. Abs are crazy. Quads are reasonably sharp. Mm -hmm. 
And by herself, she doesn't look super crazy, but next to everybody else, like, she really stands out. A little too long there. Yeah, good back pose. Those delts look crazy from behind. Hamstrings are really, like, not present at all. Um, yeah, I mean, that looks kind of pro debut-ish, um, which, you know... What I would expect to see in your pro debut is, you know, you look like you belong on the stage, but you're not going to be in the first call out. Um, so her legs are really dominant. Her upper body is a little undersized. She's a little soft, a little under conditioned, um, especially from behind the glutes and the hams that that that's just uh, it's not the kind of conditioning that's going to get you anywhere near the first call out in a pro show. Um, so for a pro debut, outstanding, really good presentation overall. Yeah, and so if she won this last year, then she just took, you know, probably six, seven, eight months to grow and just needs more time. Yeah, I mean, she would be wellness, except her upper body is a little too, um, too developed. Um, but her legs are dominant, like the way that she came out and hit that side pose, like her glutes have a wellness style pop to it. She's a little blocky for figure like just there isn't quite the kind of flow and like change in shape that you want to see as you move up and down the physique um, in figure it's not bad at all like she's really good physique really good development it's just some of the little stuff just isn't quite there that back pose looks great I wonder if she actually started in wellness and then upgraded to figure because her upper body was responding too much to training I don't know so it looks like we did have a scratch. Gabriella Cadena, we have glossed over. Um, looks like she did not make it. So Rhea Gale, um, she was one that I think I saw in the initials and said, like, yes. I was kind of waiting to see a little bit more of a front-on pose here. Some of the posing affectations I could really do without. Like the slow, like, 0.1 mile per hour walk. It's like, get into position, please. That's a great shape. That is like a figure shape. Absolutely. The hands under the chin thing, I could do without that. The arm out for no reason, I could do without that. Back is crazy. That looks really good. Legs a little undersized. Yeah, good, good. Um, upon closer look, like there's some things I don't like there. A lot of them are posing and presentation related. That's all personal preference. It does count though, it does matter. Yeah. I mean, she's there. Uh, there's, a, there's nothing that really stands out here. Um, shoulders don't have a lot of pop. In figure, like if anything is asymmetri asymmetrical in figure, you want your shoulders to be too big. And hers are kind of underpowered. So I'm kind of going for the wrong thing there. Um, conditioning from behind, especially in the legs, a little soft. Yeah, upper body honestly just looks a little bit more like wellness, like, and, and the legs aren't big enough to really be wellness. So just a little, little underwhelming overall. Yeah, she was one I saw in the comparisons that really stood out. Now she looks a little softer, actually. Like her upper body is kind of blurred a little bit. Legs are still sharp, which is kind of weird. Okay, there she is. Really good shapes, like super, super full and round. Conditioning looks like it's just a little off. Like the legs are there. Strangely, the glutes are there. The back and upper body looks soft, which is kind of backwards. Oftentimes you'll see that, like an, an area might just look uh, a little soft if it's undersized. It's definitely not with her. Like her upper body is probably just a, a little bit overpowering. Um, but just looks a little soft. Yeah, really good shape. Um, great conditioning as well. Um, it's funny, like her legs have good size, but yet they look kind of small, um, especially from the side. Like you, you can see right there from, from behind as well, like legs, like they just don't have a lot of circumference to them. Like the quads are there. They just look a little on the small side. Her back thickness is a little lacking too. Um, it's probably going to keep her out of the first call out. Um, she looks good though. First time I felt the need to comment on calves. Hers are tremendous. This will probably be the only time I comment on this, but her hair is super cool. It's got like green tinges to it. It's pretty cool.
this thing with the face, stop it. I, I don't want that to continue to be a thing. I hate it. It's not just her. Everybody's doing it. I do not like it. Yeah, she's just small. She, she just doesn't have... Um, there it is again. Definitely don't do it on every pose. We see your face. We know it's there. Stop calling attention to it every time you transition into a different pose. She's very undersized. Probably the smallest person on stage we've seen so far. Um, like, uh, I think her rear delts are like the largest muscle on her body. Um, back, back is pretty good. Legs are small, um, and that, that's going to kill her. If she were four inches shorter but had the same amount of muscle on her frame, she'd be great. <laughs> Just needs to grow a little bit more. Mayra Rocha, Mexico. So she took second in Chicago uh, earlier this year. And looks super, super soft here. I need to pull up how she looked in Chicago, but uh, something tells me this wasn't the, wasn't the package that won Chicago. Unless I'm about to be wowed by something when she hits this front pose here. I'm not. No. She looks like bottom half of the second call out. Unless the judges are wanting to see a softer look, we're going to find out when they do the first call out. We'll see. Um, I, uh, no, I'm not impressed by that. For somebody who took second in the show just a handful of weeks ago, no. No. I mean, she's got to know she's off here, right, too? No. Nope, not today. Not today. I mean, she really blew up into that pose. Um, <laughs> it's a pretty dramatic difference from relaxed to posed right there. Legs are undersized. Midsection's really, really soft. A little soft all over. Um, legs, like, I'm not really seeing any kind of separation in the quads. Um, which, you need that. So, if you're in figure specifically, you've got to look for the difference between striations and separation. You want plenty of separation. I'm not looking for striations, but I haven't really seen any of that on this stage here. Unless I just missed it. I don't think anybody that I've seen here is really over-conditioned. Which figure is about the highest level category that I would consider you can possibly be over-conditioned for. Still, it, it's not common that you see somebody who's just too lean for figure. The judges will usually reward that more often than not. Unless they're about to blow me away with some, some call-outs here. First call-out. Here we go. This is exciting. We'll see how many do they do. I'm guessing five. Yeah, they're gonna do six. I'm guessing six. We've got 18 here, so it makes sense to do three callouts of six each. Okay, here we go. Yep. I'm going to do eight. Really? Are you kidding me? Okay, so they're doing half the show. Half the class. Why, why, is, why is she out there? I wouldn't have her in the top half. Yeah, they're going to be out here for a while. It's a tough call. Like, I think I'd, I'd know who I'd put in the top two or three spots here. Yeah. I, I, uh, I disagree with that. Disagree with that. Um, I strongly disagree with that. My God, why? I feel like that was a move based on reputation. She is off. Okay. Thirteen, Gabriella Consolmagno. Uh, I don't, I don't like her for third. No, honestly, the woman from Germany. Who is that? Um, Jenny Kurth. 
I kind of like her in the top three. Noticeably absent here, Adrian Matthews is not in the top call out, and she was um, seventh in Tampa two weeks ago, so she will be not in the top nine here. You cannot be kidding me. Oh, wait, that's not who I thought it was. Okay. That's a pretty big drop right there. Yeah, I think Rhea Gale wins this handily. Honestly, I think DeShane Price has second pretty easily. Um, she's not in the running, but I would really, really strongly consider putting... Let me just take a look at this pose here first. Hold on. Eh, I really want to put Jenny Kerf here from Germany, a higher position, but that the legs in that back pose are just not there. Um, and the density that she's, that Gabrielle over here is showing now that she's been moved out, um, I was critical of her at first, but she's kind of coming on strong now. Um, and seeing her with everybody else. Okay. Yes, thank you. Get her further to the outside. Noteworthy here, um, Gabriella, this one here on the far left, um, she was sixth just last week in Tampa and 14th um, the week before that. I'm sorry, in Texas last week and 14th in Tampa two weeks ago. So this is Rita here now, which I think they're probably looking at her for third. And in some ways I agree, in some ways I don't. I think your top two are pretty clear. It's, it's Rhea and it's DeShane. And I don't, I would not argue with that at all. Beyond that, I'm kind of going back and forth between Rita here, number 10. Um, who is this? Nikki McGuire here, 17. And Jenny Kerf here. I think they all have good elements and you could probably swap any of them in third, fourth, fifth with Gabriella in that mix as well. I'm not sure why they don't like this other Gabriella out here. Okay, so they're going to send them back to the wings. Yeah, that's not where you all came from. Somebody went off stage. Personally, I think having um, a first call out with nine in it is just too unwieldy. Just too many people on stage at once. I think having a uh, smaller first call out makes a whole lot more sense. So they're going to do a smaller second call out, it looks like. That's it. There's four in the second call out. I would do it the other way around, honestly. I would take a closer look at who you think the top four are and then bring out a second class that's larger. Again, nobody's asking me to be a head judge. So Stephanie over here on the right, this is her pro debut. Between her and Adrian for uh, this one, they, they both look like they could take this call out. Uh, they'll probably move her 7 and 15 trade places, I would guess. Nope. Shows what I know. I can tell you also right now, if you haven't been in the first or the second call out, right now you're like smiling through gritted teeth. Like it's, it's hard to be waiting for those first call outs and then knowing when you finally get out there and you have to put on your, your best effort and your best performance that you're, you're hunting for you know the top of the bottom of the pack. I've been there, it's not a fun place to be. Yeah. So asymmetry aside and everything, I think she's probably going to take this just because her conditioning is great. Um, Angela Baldwin, number one, right there. Um, and 12, that is Jessica Cocky. Um, you know, for being her first show and she just turned pro last year, like, um, she looks great. Really, really good. Should be all we need there, right? No. Really? Uh, okay. Finishing high in, in this uh, in this call out is the difference between placing and not placing. So um, really you're just like, you know, fighting for pride at this point, but there, there is a distinction there for sure. Um, for her, again, who is that? I keep forgetting the names. Jessica, um, being able to place in your first pro show um, a year after turning pro, like that'd be quite an accomplishment. Got great legs, just want to build up the upper body a little bit more. Now they'll probably bring back the top four or five in a fourth call out. I don't want to seem like I hate her. It's just like, she didn't bring it. 
she's not top six material. Yeah, so that's your top two in the middle, Rhea and Deshane. I think clearly head and shoulders above everybody else. Above everybody else. I'm sorry, I, I don't want to come across as a hater, but uh, I just do not see how, given who is in this first call out, how Myra Rocha belongs in there. It, it looks like she is eight weeks out, frankly. Seventeen, is that Nikki? Like, she's getting stronger as she goes on here. Like, out on the outside right there, she looks really impressive right now, and I would consider putting her in third. It, it wouldn't surprise me if she kind of sneaks up a little bit. She, she was definitely getting, getting harder and more impressive as things went on there. Okay, so that was figure open pre-judging. As far as the results are concerned, not too many surprises. A couple things kind of stand out to me, but first was taken by Rhea Gale, which I thought that was well-earned. I felt like she kind of dominated from the start, head to toe, top to bottom, front to back. Second was Deshane Price, which I also, also thought was very well-earned. Um, Deshane also won all three of the Masters categories, so she took 35 plus, 45 plus, and 50 plus. Third place, taken by Rita Villarreal, which I thought, again, pretty well earned. I'm not sure if I would have put anybody else in that position. I think I mostly agree with that. Fourth was Gabriela Consolmagno, which, again, I think pretty well earned. So while I can't really quibble with third or fourth, in fifth place was Nikki McGuire. And my only quibble here is looking back now at third and fourth, I feel like she should have maybe been up a spot. Maybe fourth, maybe even third. I just thought her overall package was really, really tight. Super impressive when put in context with in context with everybody else. I feel like maybe she was a little undersized. That might have been hurting her. The judges were definitely looking for some uh, for some looks that were just a little bit thicker, fuller, and bigger overall. Is there anything else in the top ten that really stood out to me? Uh, realistically, I think uh, Myra Roca. Rocha, who finished sixth. Um, I honestly, I hate to say it, I don't feel like she was really top 10 material in this show. I'm not sure why she was placed sixth. She was just really, really soft all around. Uh, and I do believe that in seventh, uh, Jenny Kerf uh, probably should have been up a spot, at least in sixth for sure. Possibly even cracking the top five, though you have to make some uh, concessions with people who finished above her. I'm not really sure that you can make a strong argument for that, but she did have a really, really competitive physique. I feel like seventh, uh, no, nah, I would have had her in sixth at least, absolutely. Generally speaking, I think the judges mostly got it right. There's a lot of stuff here that's really open to opinion and interpretation, of course, as always, when you're doing shows like this. So uh, complaining about the judging is kind of a fact of life kind of comes with the territory. But generally speaking here, just the one complaint, and other than that, I think you can really kind of shuffle people around in various spots, and you can make a good case for that.